All right, it's Tom from Candlelight Welding Club in Bangor, Maine. And this song is brought to you by Larry and Leslie Latour of Glenburn, Maine, which is basically the suburbs of Bangor. Same zip code and everything. Um, and they are a songwriting duo, and they're really super awesome and talented, and they're also very instructive. Um, they've been doing it a long time, and they're inspiring and everything. So um, this song is based on a conversation and then sort of a... Um, like a task to that uh, they came up with, or I think Leslie did, and then uh, Larry was all over it too. It's fun uh, to do a song which is based on how everybody's mom or maybe dad or whatever says, "This world's going to hell in a handbasket." Oh, kids, ah, kids these days. Yeah. Anyway, and also it was supposed to be a little political. And mine wasn't all that political, but and. Uh, Oh, and they talked to me about Phil Oaks, and if you don't know who that is, it's a guy that, uh, it's a folk singer, and he's a very famous one, I'm sure, I'm just kind of learning a lot of this stuff as I go from people like Larry and Leslie, and um, so I incorporated Phil Oaks in there, and also Towns Van Zant, which I was first introduced to, really, by my friend Aaron Rollins, who also has been incredibly instructive in my life and my musical career. So thank you, Aaron Rollins, also, and uh, Larry and Leslie, of course. And uh, I'm just going to keep playing this song for a while until I get fatigued. So thank you for tuning in.
it twice, so it's officially a song with a pulse. It's called Hell in a Handbasket. Ha! Thank you, Larry and Leslie, and also Aaron, for all you songwriting lovers out there. Here's one from Bangor, Maine, that loves you right back. So uh, check out Candlelight Welding Club's YouTube page. Uh, get some help making it real nice and stuff, so it'll be a pleasure. But in the meantime, I could use your support, so please do subscribe. And if you need an Uber ride, that'll be me on uh, Thursday, or no later than Thursday. But regardless, you can always call old Tommy for a ride. And he'll sing for you if you like, or just play nice music on the radio, probably have some mints. I don't know. Anyway, consider it next time you're drunk and need a ride. Because I won't be if I'm Ubering.